In this video, we're going to take a look at the steps that we need to take in order to create a custom plumbing wall for our project here. As you can see in looking at the final product, what we're creating essentially is a metal stud wall that has airspace in between metal stud on the other side as well as our, our chipboard finish. By default, the system wall family in Revit does not include a custom wall like this, so we're just going to go ahead and create it here in this video. All right, so let's go ahead and get started now that we've converted this to one of our basic walls provided in our project by default. So we're just going to select on this wall that we intend to modify and create our plumbing wall from. We're going to come over here to our properties menu and select our edit type. One of the big reminders I want to make here is that we do want to make sure that we come in and we duplicate. We don't want to just begin to edit the structure of this wall unless we intend to overwrite this basic wall that we have here in the project. But because I know that we want to leave all of our four and seven A's partition walls in place, I want to make sure that we just go ahead and duplicate. And we're going to go ahead and give this a name. I'm just going to name this interior plumbing wall and we'll go ahead and click OK. Now any of the modifications we make are to this new wall type that we are creating here for use between our restrooms. So we're going to click on our edit structure. Now I want to explain the edit assembly menu a little bit here. First off, it's it's very important to kind of t have this preview menu up over here. So you'll see I can actually toggle back and forth between my floor plan and my section here. And for this demonstration we're going to look at the floor plan view so that we can see the layers as we begin to modify and create the wall that we want to use here and then I want to point out the core boundary area here in our wall layers because you'll see here are all the layers that we have from the exterior face to the interior face assuming we have an exterior wall for our interior wall to you know this will be both sides but we're looking at the core boundary and in it right now we have a metal stud layer that's three and five eighths inch and so we're going to create another one of those three and five eighths inch metal stud layers as well as an airspace layer that the plumbing lines can run between the two restrooms I do want to point out over here new in 2013 there is a structural material toggle that Revit allows us to go ahead and determine which material will in fact be our primary structural material and so the first thing that we're going to do here, we're just going to click on the core boundary. And you'll see that as I click on insert now, Revit's actually going to insert the layer that we create right above whatever we have selected. So we're going to click on insert and you'll see it's now inserted another metal stud layer within this core boundary. So we're going to come down to our materials and we're just going to click here and wait for Revit to open up our material browser. Because we know we're creating here a metal stud, I'm just going to go ahead and type in up top. Revit will quickly filter through my materials library and give me this metal stud layer that I'm looking for here. I'm just going to select on that and we'll go ahead and click OK here. Now you'll see that go, goes ahead and fills in the material metal stud layer. Next thing, let's go ahead and modify the thickness. So we're going to go ahead and make this a three and five eighths inch metal stud here. Now I do want to explain down here the material, the structural material. We can only designate one of the materials between this core boundary to be that primary structural. So we're going to leave that the original one. And let's go ahead and we're just going to hit enter here. And you'll see our preview window window now shows two, three and five eighths inch metal stud flush up against each other with our jip on both sides as we're showing here in the wall layers right now. So the next piece that we want to make sure we go ahead and create as I select on that metal stud we just created let's go ahead and insert the airspace that we'll need here. Now for the airspace that lies in this core boundary we want to make sure the first thing we're going to do is use this function category. And we're actually going to click on this drop down and you'll see this is where Revit gives priorities to the different layers in our wall and for the air layer here we're going to go ahead and give it a priority three for the thermal and air and 
you'll see as we take a look at how exactly this wall interacts with our exterior wall here in the plan uh, once we finish creating it how the priority does affect how the wall cleans up with other walls and then we're going to just go ahead and click on the material and I'm going to type in air here now we can see the air material and I'm just going to go ahead and click OK for that now we want a five and a half inch airspace between the two metal studs so I'm going to go ahead and designate that thickness and we can go ahead and click OK and you'll see our preview right here our, our floor plan preview now shows that airspace between the two three and five eighth inch metal studs which is what we were trying to create here I want us to go ahead and click OK here and I'm going to click OK one more time and you'll see now Revit takes the wall that we had originally selected to go ahead and configure our custom plumbing wall based off of and it goes ahead and changes that to this new interior plumbing wall that we created here so that we now have two three and five eighths inch metal studs with our five and a half inch airspace in between and I'm just going to come up here on view and select my thin line so that you can see my jip more clearly exactly how that finish wraps from the exterior wall that we're looking at here to the interior wall and the function priority that I wanted to make sure that we change to a thermal and air layer if you remember that back in the edit assembly menu you'll see that the priorities control here this airspace does not intersect the metal stud layer had we given our airspace a higher priority than the metal stud then you would see that this airspace would actually pass through would actually pass through the metal stud so that's how you control your wall cleanup with the priority function category there in that edit wall assembly I hope this video has been helpful for you